Hi, I'm Heidi Dickerson, and welcome to this episode of LVI TV. Did you know that more than 35 million Americans don't have any teeth? Tooth loss happens from decay and gum disease and is a result of injury, cancer, or occlusal issues. In the geriatric population, the ratio of edentulous individuals is 2 to 1. About 23 million are completely edentulous, and about 12 million are edentulous in one arch. 90% of those who are edentulous have dentures. The number of partially edentious patients will continue to increase in the next 15 years to more than 200 million individuals. Partial edentulism affects the majority of adult Americans. About 15% of the edentulous population has dentures made each and every year. So why am I focusing on the toothless? Well, poor oral health and hygiene are major risk factors for pneumonia among the elderly. Add to that an elderly person who wears a full denture and sleeps with it, and the issue gets worse and worse. A study titled Denture Wearing During Sleep Doubles the Risk of Pneumonia in Very Elderly, which has been published by the International and American Associations for Dental Research in the Journal of Dental Research, shows that among 453 denture wearers, 186 or 40.8% of them who wore their dentures when they slept were at higher risk for developing pneumonia than those who took them out at night. Why? Well, keeping our dentures in increases the plaque in your mouth, on your denture, and your gums. The result is gum inflammation and also an increase in candida albicans or yeast. Ugh. Teeth and dentures have surfaces in which biofilm or plaque form and are susceptible to colonization by respiratory pathogens. If these pathogens are shed and aspirated into the airway, you can get pneumonia. We don't want this bacteria from our mouth getting into our lungs. So what's the bottom line here? First, even if you don't have teeth, oral hygiene is important. Brushing your gums and tongue routinely will help keep the bacteria and yeast at bay. Second, don't sleep with your dentures in. Take them out at night, clean them, clean your mouth thoroughly, and go to bed. This will decrease your chance of contracting pneumonia. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like us and subscribe, and I'll see you next time on LVI TV. I'm Dr. Heidi Dickerson.